even if you didn't use it, like Jack Nicholson, uh, you didn't like it. Yeah. Just as an image on its own. I love it. She is? This is called the point. Good morning, y'all. We're going to get started in three minutes here. Morning, y'all. We got about two more minutes before we get started. Thanks for tuning in. Back here with my good friend Sabrina. Good morning. We're back here at The Point, which is this awesome uh, conference party center uh, out in Mission Beach. So when everything, which everything is starting to open up, at least here, um, check it out. Two minutes, y'all. Two minutes. Thank you for letting me do this. Thank you for, for coming. Like seriously, I know I always like say it, but like I really do like, I mean it. Like it means a lot to me. Thank you. Yeah, it does. Welcome back, everybody. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Nama Steve here. My good friend Sabrina, she's joining us once again. I want to thank you, Sabrina, for joining us. She was just thanking me. Right, she's doing me a huge favor, and you, know, you guys as well. So, He's the best. Uh, thank you, Sabrina, for coming. And uh, as per usual, Sabrina normally has a quote for us. You got something for us today? I do, actually. I, I always try to listen to something really motivating just in the morning when I wake up. And it was real simple and it was real easy. And it's almost like two quotes, but 
first quote is, you know, the power of hope. And hope can come in many different ways, but the power of one person can bring you so much hope and can give you what you need to help you get through your day and you didn't even know it. And so obviously you and yoga and the power of it, it just gives me strength and courage to face my day and just to keep growing and it's very powerful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. So we're gonna work today to, to cultivate some of that power. Physically, mentally, um, we're gonna leave here feeling really, really good everybody. Let's get started today. Let's get started standing here today, huh? Okay. Top of our mat. So separate your feet about hips width apart. Your face this way. Okay. There you go. <laughs> it started already, y'all. <laughs> I'm gonna do you right. Separate your feet about hips width apart, everybody. Hips width. No, your hips are not that wide. There we go. That's hips width. Let your hands run long along your side body. Let's close our eyes, everybody. And let's begin straight away. Hit, inhale through your nose and roll your shoulders up by your ears. Exhale through your mouth. Roll them down your back. Now let's go once again. Inhale, shoulders roll up, breathe in. Exhale, roll them back, clear it out. One more, inhale. And exhale. Seal your lips, everybody. Breathe in through your nose for the count of five, four, three, two, one. Keep your lips sealed. Breathe out through your nose. Five, four, three, two, one. One that's a good breath, Sabrina. Audible inhale. Hold your breath in. Think about standing up a little bit taller. Maybe lift your chest just a little bit. Now stay tall. Exhale. Draw your navel in and up and gently push your breath out. Good, everybody. Inhale. Feel that breath fill you. Feel it rise. Get big from the inside out. Exhale. Draw your navel in and up and gently push your breath out. Now, just really focus on this, everybody. Moving your breath in and moving your breath out. Just at this slow, rhythmic pace. Think about, once again, standing up a little bit taller. Maybe lift your chest a micro inch, or even if it's not moving physically, energetically, you're trying to extend up and out and get big. And Feel the firmness of your feet in the ground. I want you to feel the balls of your feet and your heels. Engage your quadriceps. Really, really good. Now, on your next inhale, let's sweep our hands out to the side and then reach them up high to the sky. Go for it. And as you do, bring your palms to face each other. Bring your pinkies in even a little bit more. And then exhale. Just take your hands right back down to your sides. Inhale, sweep out, sweep up, breathe in here. <laughs> you saw that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Exhale, just take your hands right back down to your sides. And once again, inhale, sweep out, sweep up, breathe in here. Now, uh, at least a little bend in your knees. Exhale, let's move to a forward fold. So maybe put a big bend in your knees here. It's this first one. Good. And then. Go for it. Let your head drop down, forward fold. Take your pinkies to the crease of your opposite elbow for ragdoll pose, everybody. Drop your head down. Shake it out a little bit. No, yes, a couple times. And then, as you know that, your knees bending is just a really good, safe, supportive place to start. So start from there. And then if you want to start to straighten your legs and intensify it a little bit, um, good, but... Move from that safe, move space, move from that supportive space. Let's take two more breaths here, everybody. In here. Exhale. 
one more breath. Pull it in really, really deep here. Good. Exhale. Release your hands to the ground. Take an inhale. Find a halfway lift. A flat back here. Good. Take a couple breaths here. Now, if you're new, see how she's got her hands on her shins here? She's really taking the round out of her back by squeezing her shoulder blades, but then she's taking her shoulders away from her ears. Hips are pulling back. Her head is reaching out. Take, uh, how about one more? Inhale. Lengthen out. Pull out, out through your chest here. And then exhale. Fold and plant your palms. And let's step it on back to plank pose, everybody. High push-up position. Uh-huh. Steady your visual gaze, everybody. Come high in the balls of your feet. Now, if you need to drop to your knees, cool. But if not, think about pulling your hands and toes towards each other. Think about pressing through your heels and reaching through your head. So back body lengthening, front line of body strengthening. Close your eyes. And I want you to feel all your strength here. It's a simple, simple posture, but you're touching, taking care of, strengthening everything within your body. How about one more big, beautiful breath in here? Nice job, Sabrina. Exhale, lower all the way down to your chest. Ha, ha, ha. Slide your hands back a couple inches. Untuck your toes. Tops of the feet are down here, but see if you can lift your knees by engaging your quadriceps. And then inhale, just lift your chest up a couple inches. Make the back of your neck nice and long and feel the lower back, your lower back working. Exhale, take your back down. Good. Do it again. Inhale, lift it on up, breathe it on up. It's called Cobrastana Bujangastana. Exhale, take your back down. Number three, start to press a little bit. Start to coax all your spine open a little bit more. Breathe in. Great job. Exhale, take your back down. Last two, everybody. Inhale, lift up, breathe it on in. Huh? Exhale, take her back down. And then last one. Inhale, lift up, breathe in. Oh, nice. Exhale, take her back down. Let's inhale. Press the hands and knees here, everybody. Hands and knees. Let's move through five cat and cows. So inhale, stomach down, forehead, tailbone, lift. Exhale, round your spine, chin to your chest. Push your breath up. Go four more on your own, everybody. Exaggerate the size of the breath. Exaggerate the size of the movement. This is spinal flexion and extension. It's our Friday morning flow, everybody. And when you're done with those couple on your own, all, right, all you got to do is take an inhale, curl your toes, and then exhale, lift your hips to the sky for downward facing. Doggy! <laughs> really good, everybody. Downward facing. Okay, pedal your feet out here a little bit. See what you're working with this morning. Every time we show up into our mat, we're in a different place than the day before, the time before. Beautiful, everybody. Little bend in your knees here. Pressing your hips up really, really high. Chin to your chest slightly so your cervical spine is long. And from here, oh, from here, how'd you, how'd you find your way through the back? Shit. Okay. From here, circle your triceps in towards your cheekbones. Right. And go just two more breaths here, everybody. You new? Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. All right. Take two more breaths here, everybody. We're just going to rearrange. We're going to kill you over y'all at home. A little technical difficulties. Inhale. Bend your knees. Look forward. You at home. 
end of your exhale, walk or lightly hop your feet between your hands. Heels and toes touch all the way together. Inhale, find a halfway lift here. A flat back, breathe it on it. And then exhale, fold down deep and push your breath out. Good, everybody. Now lead with your chest and inhale, rise. Float it all the way up high. And lean it back just to that perfect degree. And then exhale, fold all the way back down. Spill your torso out really, really long. A little bend in your knees there goes a long way, everybody. Inhale. Now find that halfway lift. Flat back, breathe it in. Exhale, plant your palms. Step to plank pose. High push-up position now. Uh, you could always drop to your knees, right? Modify this. I certainly do all the time. Take an inhale, shift a couple inches forward here. Exhale, lower halfway down. Keep your elbows tucked into your side body. Good. Now inhale, upward facing dog. Feed your heart through. Shoulders back. You want to broaden across your collarbones. And then exhale, hips to the sky. The downward facing. And dogger. Good. Everybody, I wanted to uh, welcome Lindsay here. We just said somebody crashed the party. A little late, but it's all good. Okay? Downward face and dog, and I can't believe I forgot this, right? Thank yourself for showing up to your mat because it's Friday morning. And even though a lot of us are still in quarantine, there's still other things you could be doing and other places you could be, so I'm glad you're here. Uh, thank you, Lindsay. Thank you, Sabrina. Thank you for the point for letting us uh, film here, everybody, stream here. Take an inhale, bend your knees, and look forward here. End of your exhale, walk or lightly hop your feet between your hands, heels and toes touch. Inhale, find a halfway lift. Pull out through your chest and lengthen your spine. Exhale, fold down deep and push your breath out. Lead with your chest. Inhale, rise. Load it all the way up high. Good, lean it back till your body's just like, yeah, that feels good. Exhale, fold all the way back down. Lay your torso out long and push your breath out. Really, really good. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back, breathe it in. Exhale, plant your palms, step to plank pose. Shift forward, lower halfway. Beautiful, now inhale, upward face, and Urdhva Mukha, shoulders back, I can broad across your heart here. And then from your core, exhale, pull your hips to the sky. And dogger. Feet are hips width apart. Keep in mind just a little bend in those knees there. Just eases a lot of pressure. Your hamstrings, your lower back, it's going to allow you to press your hips higher. It'll allow you to have a flat spine. Now drop your head down. Let gravity do its job by just naturally pulling your head down. And that's going to help. Create some more space in your spine. Inhale. Exhale. Pull and move your breath in. And then move your breath out, y'all. Inhale, bend your knees, look forward here. End of your exhale. Exhale, walk or lightly hop your feet between your hands. Beautiful. Inhale, find your halfway lift. Flat back, your hips pull back and your head reaches out. Exhale, fold down deep and empty out. Lead with your chest. Inhale, rise. Load it all the way up high. Lean it back, but lift out of your waistline and lift out of your heart. And then exhale, fold all the way back down. You're doing phenomenal, everybody. The breath-based meditation, we add simple movement to it. Inhale, halfway, flat back, breathe in it. Exhale, plant your palms, step to plank, shift forward, lower, halfway. Upward facing, open heart, shoulders back here. Awesome. Exhale, hips high. Doggy! Woo! I can hear these girls, they're breathing awesome. <laughs> This is, this is what we want, right? They're breathing phenomenal. It's a very oceanic sounding breath. I hope you at home are breathing in the same way. Take two more breaths here. Take one more flow on your own. Surya Namaskar A. Add, skip, whatever you want, everybody. 
Breathe well, and I'll meet you right back in Dogger. Nice work, everybody. Simple movements, simple postures that we don't take at some point, right? And with some regularity, we lose the ability to do it. Right? If you don't use it, you lose it. But simple postures, simple movements, simple things that if we bring a certain quality of attention towards, it becomes a meditation. So this is our physical exercise, our mental inner size. We're doing awesome. Uh, maybe a little less uh, going on than what we had yesterday. You girls missed it. I got attacked by a lawnmower, an automatic <laughs> lawnmower. Uh, seriously. Uh, inhale, right leg high to the sky, everybody. What? And then go for it. Bend your knee, stack your hip, and then take a couple big circles with your knee clockwise and counterclockwise. Now we want our head still heavy, chin to your chest. See if you can dial your right shoulder down so that the right shoulder is going to stay level. Really good, Lindsay. Now see if you can lift your left heel. Oh, nice. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, two more breaths here, y'all. In here. Exhale out. Inhale, right leg, reach it up high. And then exhale. Go ahead. Sweep your right foot all the way through to your hands. Drop your back left knee to the ground. Slide your left knee back a little bit here, Sabrina. Slide your right foot forward so that you can really start to sink your hips and your sacrum down and forward. We're gonna get into this left hip flexor here. And then inhale, sweep your hands up high to the sky. And then exhale, sweep them behind you and interlace your fingers at your lower back. Now, inhale, start to lean back. Start to squeeze your shoulder blades. As you do that, you're gonna lift out of your heart, right? And then exhale, stay here. Press your hips, your sacrum down and forward a little bit more. And your choice. You see, Sabrina's got the tops of her toes flat to the ground. Lindsay's got them curled under. Your choice, whatever, buddy. But I want you to breathe deep, and I want you to really feel this. I can. Yeah, good. <laughs> good, nice. <laughs> Two more breaths here, y'all. Can you? Exhale it out. Take one more. Inhale. Oh. Exhale, all right, release your hands, inhale, sweep your hands high and curl your back left toes under, everybody. And then exhale, pick your back left knee up and jet airplane your arms. So, ah, there we go. Breathe, breathe well. Let's see if we can lift your back heel higher. And then press through your back heel here, Lindsay, and reach through your head and really feel that length again, the back line of your body. Shoulder blades are gonna squeeze, so you're broad across your collarbones. Oh, awesome. Inhale, root into your feet and rise up and reach up and fill up. Press and pose, Anjaneyasana. Exhale, jet airplane and rib cage to thigh, just where you came from. Once again, mm. inhale, rise up, reach up and fill up. Oh. Exhale, jet airplane. Oh. Inhale, rise up, reach up and fill up. Oh. Exhale, open arm twist to your right. Open arm twist to your right, your other right. There we go. Now, now, see how Lindsay's body is here. This is what happens in my body and a lot of people's bodies. We tend to lean forward. So if that's you from your core, pull back a little bit. See if you can, even though you're twisted, come back to a little bit more shoulders stacked above hips. Glance back over your right thumb. You feeling this one? Oh, inhale, lengthen, breathe in. Sink and twist a little bit on your exhale. Take a break if you need it. One more breath. That's you, Sabrina. Inhale. <laughs> <laughs> exhale. Now they can take a break if they need it as well. Inhale. Warrior two. Carve all the way open. There we go. Now we've got this heel to arch, right? We've been here before. Go ahead and bend and straighten in and out of your front right leg, everybody. So first, standing open hip posture. So 
if you got a couple pops going in, if you go into that kind of mini triangle with your legs straight, come out and back, that's cool. But then you come back, you bend deep into your front right knee, stack your front right knee right above your ankle, glance out over your right fingertips, and inhale, get tall in your spine, get lifted in your chest, and get long in your arms. Exhale heavy in your hips, even in your legs. Just two more breaths, I know you're feeling it. Just like that plank pose, everybody. Just like so much we do. Simple postures, nothing complicated. But if you're active and engaged, you feel it touching, taking care of, and maintaining everything. I'm glad you're here. One more big, beautiful breath in here. Exhale, go ahead. Windmill your hands to the ground. Step back, and then lower slow. Elbows tuck it. Upward face and feed your heart through shoulders back here. And exhale, hips to the sky, downward facing the oh. oh. Inhale, left leg high to the sky. <laughs> Bend your left knee, stack your hip, and then go for it. Big circle of workalies, y'all. <laughs> now, head still heavy, right shoulder dialing down, and you can lift your right heel if you want a little extra. Mm. To me, that adds a whole other dimension to it. Good, y'all. Inhale, left leg high to the sky. Exhale, go ahead, sweep all the way through to your hands. Drop your back right knee to the ground. And then if you need to slide your right knee back, left foot forward, go for it. Inhale, sweep your hands up high to the sky here. And then again, exhale, swim your hands behind you and interlace your fingers lower back. Now, have the opposite thumb on top. top. So this is an awkward grip, everybody. And then see what you can get cooking, huh? Inhale, start to lean back and then look to the sky. Like, you might even drop your head all the way back and flop it back, but then slightly retuck chin to your chest because you do want a little length there. And, yeah, you're opening, you're lifting out of your heart, breathe in. Now your sacrum is pressing forward and down. You're breathing into your right hip flexor. Beautiful. Let's go. Two more breaths here. Deep breaths. Into you. Exhale. One more. Inhale. Exhale it out. Release your hands. Inhale. Sweep, your, sweep them up high to the sky. Curl your back right toes under. Exhale. Pick your back right knee up and jet airplane your arms. Y'all breathing? Back right heel lifting. Long, strong diagonal line. The, the whole back line of your body. Shoulder blades, everybody. Root near your feet. Inhale, rise up, reach up, and fill up. Crescent pose, Anjane Asana. Exhale, jet airplane, rib cage to thigh. Inhale, come on up, reach up high. Good, exhale, jet there plane. Inhale, rise up, reach up and fill up. Awesome, open arm twist to your left. Oh, <laughs> nice. That's fine. Good. Everybody remember, body wants to lean forward a lot of times. Let's see if we can pull it back a little bit. And then, hey, if you're balanced here, if you're not going to fall over, close your eyes. Can I be active? Can I be engaged enough to feel it everywhere? Can I be calm enough to be able to hold it forever? Huh? At least two breaths in here. Exhale. One more, everybody. In here. Exhale it out. Inhale, warrior two. Open. Oh, there we go. Go ahead, everybody. Bend and straighten in out of your front left leg. I'll give you a second to, to do that. Work out any kinks, any pops. Go ahead, and then sink into warrior two. You want to stack your front left knee right above your ankle. Always keep in mind uh, tight hips, which a lot of us have, including myself. This knee wants to pull and lean inward, so you're going to externally rotate it to find a neutral position. Three more breaths here, huh? Y'all breathing? Inhale. Exhale. Oh, Lindsay right now is thinking she crashed the wrong party. <laughs> Inhale. <laughs> like, shit, what was I thinking? Why did Yoga I sounded like such a good idea. One more breath, y'all. Soak it up. Inhale. 
Exhale, windmill your hands to the ground. Step back, lower slow, elbows tuck in. Upward face and feed your heart through, shoulders back here. And exhale, hips to the sky, downward facing oh, dog. My God. Beautiful work, y'all. Beautiful. <laughs> now, hips high, head dropping down. Y'all breathing deep, right? You're, listen, you showed up. Yes. You showed up to your mat. <laughs> this says something really, really good about you. I commend you for doing that. We're going to flow it out from here. Breathe deep. Take a break whenever you need. Once again, before we thank yourself for being here. Uh huh. I want to thank the both of y'all as well, and all y'all at home. I, I appreciate you so much. Take an inhale. Exhale it out. Inhale. Send your right leg. Breathe it high to the sky. And then exhale. Let's add a knee to nose here. Push your breath out. Inhale, reach you high. And then exhale, sweep your right foot all the way through to your hands. Stack your knee. Root near feet. Inhale, rise up, reach up and fill up. Crescent pose, Anjane Asana. An open arm twist to your right. Sink deep, spread your wing. Inhale, open warrior two. Just carve open mindfully, gracefully, if at all possible. Exhale, windmill your hands to the ground. Step back, lower slope. Simple stuff, everybody. Awkward facing, that isn't necessarily easy, right? Exhale, hips high, downward facing dog. <gasps> Inhale, left leg, breathe it on up. Exhale, knee the nose, push your breath out. Inhale, reach you high. And then exhale, sweep all the way through to your hands. Stack your knee. Root down, rise up, reach up, and fill up. Open arm twist, left. Sink deep, spread wings wide. Inhale, carve open, warrior two, Virabhadrasana B. Exhale, windmill down. Step back, lower slope. Upwards, open heart, feed it through. Exhale, hips high, downward facing dog. We're going to keep flowing like that. Inhale, right leg, breathe it on up. Exhale, knee to nose, empty out. Inhale, reach high. And exhale, sweep all the way through to your hands. Root down, rise up, reach up, and fill up. Good, exhale, opening right, sink deep. Inhale, second warrior, carve open. Exhale, take it on down, step it on back, y'all. Beautiful work. Take the left side on your own. All right, so you've got knee to nose, it's crescent, it's the open arm twist left, and then warrior two. Take the left side on your own. Breathe well. Then I'm going to have you take another set on your own. So you got left, right, left. Woo! Simple, not necessarily easy. But you know that nothing of great value, of meaning, is ever easy. And physical health, mental clarity, and emotional balance, and it's not all that hard, but you've got to show up. Right? And you've done that here today, so I commend you for that. You got left, right, left on your own. If at any point that breath gets away from you, you move into a fight or flight breath, a fight or flight state, because one is, breath is reflective of your state, your state of being. Um, take a break. It's not worth it. You know, you can drop to your knees, you can reset. And that's what we're here for anyway, right? Reset it. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, no. Ooh.
Give these girls a little bit of a break, huh? And, and you at home. Hey, just, just a little bit, you know. I'm not going to spoil you. From here, walk your hands back towards your feet. Separate your feet about hips width apart. And let's take Pada Gustasana. So you grab your big toes with your middle and index fingers. You can bend your knees as much as you need, everybody. And if still that's not happening, just kind of take ragdoll pose. Just a simple forward fold. But after all that flowing and all that movement, right, and all this heat that we're building, now we're using some of this heat to, to create more length here. Whole back line of our body. This is a really, really sweet one. Although very simple, not complicated. This is just really required. Our body needs this. Let's go two more breaths here. You do. Exhale, let's go one more, huh? Inhale. Oh, great success, eh? Exhale, release that. Let's walk our hands forward to plank pose. High push-up position. Let's squeeze our legs together. Let's ground into our left hand, and then now roll open to your right, side plank pose. If you want to drop a knee or a forearm, go for it. Press and shape your left side body so your hips lift. Drive down into your left hand so that arm, that shoulder is active and engaged. It's not just a kickstand. If you're feeling strong and you want to scissor your right leg up off your left, you can. Take your right hand up overhead, your bicep, by ear. Two breaths, y'all. You do. Exhale. Inhale, reach a little bit. And then exhale, release the plank. Take your right knee to your right elbow for five. Oh. Four, nice, three, two, let's inhale right leg high to the sky. Now flex your foot, spiral inward with your thigh. There you go, Lindsay. And then walk your hands back towards your left foot. And as you do that, take your right leg parallel to the ground. Bend your left knee a little bit here. Find that halfway lift in your upper torso. You can walk forward if you need, Lindsay. And then from here, strong core, open up your arms and come to fly. Airplane pose, step high. Steady gaze, oh, steady breath. Do firm up your left quadricep, but do leave a micro bend oh in that knee. God. Squeeze your shoulder blades broad and across your heart. You're doing awesome. Inhale, last two breaths. Exhale, how about one more? Last inhale here, you've got the option to reach your hands forward and create a little bit more space. Exhale, hinge at your waist, hands to the ground, walk it forward, three-legged dog. Ah, oh, yeah. Right leg, breathe it on up here. And then exhale, sweep your right foot all the way through to your hands so you're in a low lunge. Ha! Ah, let's start from here, everybody. Spin your back foot flat. Okay, and if you're going to modify and you're going to come to your forearm to thigh, you can come right up. Otherwise, you could take your left hand to your left hip here. A right hand to the inside. If you got a block or your water bottle, you can do that. Start to peel your heart open towards your left. And then if you'd like to take your left hand to the sky for side angle pose, go for that. Yeah. Good. Now, Lindsay, you can even take that your left hand, reach it overhead, bicep by ear. And look at this line of energy here. This long, strong line, everybody. Now, y'all breathing deep, right, Lindsay? Y'all breathing deep? Oh, nice. In and out through your nose. That's our Ujjayi Pranayama. Two more breaths here, y'all. You do. Exhale. Go one more. You do. Exhale. All right. Core strength, everybody. Inhale. Come up, warrior two. Straighten your front right leg. Ah, oh, you can thank me later. <laughs> Triangle pose. If you want to shorten the stance an inch or two, go for it. But inhale. Make sure you reach out. Reach out. Reach out. There you go. And then tick-tock your arms. Right hand down, left hand up. Ooh, thank you. Uh, keep your body narrow, everybody. You're doing phenomenal, by the way. We're here for five. 
Ardha Chandrasana in four. The balancing, or lack thereof, half moon in three. Start to look down here, everybody. Two. Inhale, bend your right knee. Take your right fingertips to a ground, to a block. If you got a water bottle, you can use a water bottle if you need. And then just lean into it and take your back left leg up parallel to the ground. Ardha Chandrasana, a balancing half moon. Uh -huh. Drive down your right heel again. Solidify your foundation here by engaging your white right quadricep. Now your top left foot, let's flex this foot, Sabrina. Flex, you're pointing. Flex, please. Ah! Spiral away from the midline of your body. Two more breaths here, everybody. You do. Exhale, now take an inhale here. Listen carefully. Bend your right knee at least a little bit. I would bend mine a lot. Exhale your left hand down to your right hand. Take your left knee in towards your nose. Oh, nice. Set your left foot down next to your right. Forward fold, Uttanasana. Whew. Inhale, halfway lift. Pull out through your chest and lengthen your spine. Exhale, fold down deep. Now inhale, chair pose. Sink your hips and lift your chest and reach your hands high to the uh, first chair pose of our practice here, y'all. Uh, I, I owe you a couple of these. Although, I'm pretty sure you wouldn't have cashed those chips in had I not bring it up. Brought it up huh? Take one more great big inhale here. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. We're just going to flow through a couple of these. Inhale, chair pose. Do it again. Sink your hips and lift your chest and reach your hands to the sky. Exhale, forward fold. Dive it on it. Number three, y'all. Inhale, Ukatasana, the chair pose. Exhale, Uttanasana, the forward fold. Last two, everybody. Inhale, sink lower, reach higher, breathe in bigger. Exhale, forward fold. Last one. Inhale, Ukatasana, your chair pose, breathe it in. Exhale, Uttanasana, forward fold. Oh, God. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back, breathe it in. Exhale, plant your palms, step to plank, shift forward, lower halfway down. Upward facing dog, if you don't use it, you lose it. So open your heart. And exhale, hips to the sky, downward facing dog. Oh, y'all. Y'all breathing? Man, <laughs> starting to warm up here a little bit in San Diego. Uh, we've got a little overcast today. I hope it's beautiful where you're at. Um, as always, we've got Simona in from Italy. We've got some Brazil up in this. Uh, Seattle, some Buffalonians, of course, some San Diegans, everybody. San Diegans, we're going to see again. We're going to see all again, everybody again really soon. But... Um, for a live class here very soon. From here, everybody, let's shift forward to plank pose, high push-up. Squeeze your legs together. Ground into your right hand, and inhale, roll open to your left. This is Lindsay's first time here. Like I don't know if she's been properly introduced down. to my social distancing uh, tool here. Now, Crescent Shea, yeah. my social distancing Stick. Yesterday, I had to literally fend off a, uh, an automatic um, lawnmower. Oh. Left leg up, maybe. And you can see that in the video, too. Take your left hand overhead, bicep by ear. Two breaths. Is it better than Lindsay's sneak in, though? No, no. <laughs> the she topped it. <laughs> Inhale, reach a little bit. I saw you on the other side, too, but I couldn't figure out how to jump the foot. Exhale, release the plank. Take your left knee to your left elbow. Five. Four. This is everybody. Three. Two. Good. Inhale, left leg high to the sky. Flex your foot. That inward rotation once again. And then here we go, y'all. Walk your hands back towards your right foot. Take your left leg parallel to the ground. Bend your right knee a little bit. You find that halfway lifty. And then go for it. Open your arms. Let's come to fly and let's feel that high. The high of, you know, working everything in our body. But just in a calm, controlled, balanced kind of way. 
the high of having all this going on around us, almost like being in a storm or a hurricane, but our breath allowing us to find the eye of the hurricane, an internal calmness. Last inhale, option to reach your hands forward. I just had to wait for Sabrina to fall out of that one. <laughs> Exhale, hinge at your waist, I'm hands closer. to the ground. I'm closer. Walk forward to three-legged dog, everybody. Great job. <laughs> Left leg, breathe it on up here. And exhale, sweep all the way through to your hands, low lunge. So remember, we start this slow and low. Spin your right, back right foot flat. So we're talking warrior two legs, heel to arch alignment. Now, if you're coming to your forearm, you can come right up. Otherwise, you can take your left hand and inside of your left foot, right hand to your hip, and just start to peel your hip and heart open towards your right. Right hand to the sky is an option. If you went there on the other side, that Udita Parashvakonasana, take your right hand overhead, your bicep by your ear. Oh! Three more breaths here, everybody. You do. Exhale. Last two, in you. Exhale. Let's go one more, huh? In you. Exhale. Inhale. Come up, warrior two. Straighten your front left leg. Ah, three angle pose. Inhale. Reach, reach, reach. Look for front leg. Ah, oh, there you go. Exhale. Left hand down, right hand high. Woo! Real sweet one right here, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> the hamstring, the inner thigh, and all your innards. Yoga is good for your innards, y'all. Five. Four. Here we go, that balancing there by three. How smooth can you make this, too? Inhale, look down. Take your left fingertips to the ground, to a block, maybe even that water bottle. And then just lean into your front left leg. Take your right leg up parallel to the ground. So it ends up being kind of triangle pose, but you just add some balancing in. Drive down your left heel, squeeze your left quadricep, flex your top right foot, flex, uh -huh. spiral away from the midline of your body there. Awesome. Two breaths, in you. Exhale, how about one more, huh? Take an inhale here. Exhale, bend your left knee, right hand down to your left. Take your right knee in towards your nose. Good. Set your right foot down next to your left. Oh. Inhale, halfway lift, left back, breathe it in. Wow. Exhale, plant your palms, step to plank, and lower all the way down to your chest. Ha! All the way down. All the way down. Oh my God. Whew! Nice job, everybody. Let's take our hands behind us. Interlace your fingers at your lower back. Zip up your legs. Exhale everything out. Inhale, lift everything up. Use the strength of your arms to pull back, to broaden across your heart. See if you can even lift your legs up. So literally the whole, whole back line of your body. Now, now, Lindsay, think about having no wrinkles in the back of your neck. Ah, oh, there we go. Really good adjustment. Two more breaths, y'all. You do. Exhale. Let's lift up. Breathe in. Exhale. Release. Drop your left ear to your mat. Gaze to your right. <laughs> Woo! All right, let's do Danyarasana, our floor bow. Bend your knees, look chin forward, bend your knees. Grab right foot or ankle with right hand, left foot left. Exhale everything out. And then inhale, kick your legs up and back. If that's not happening for you, right, you can do what we just did, or you can just take your arms and open them out like airplane wings. Again, no wrinkles in the back of your neck. Kick your legs up and back, though. See if you can lift your thighs, kick your shins back. Just use those muscles, which happen to be the strongest muscles in your body, your legs, to create all this lift. Two breaths. You do. Exhale, last one. Inhale, lift up, breathe it on in. Beautiful release. Drop your opposite ear to the mat. You can bend your knees and windshield wipe your legs. Woo! 
just say we stay down, everybody. Let's stay on our <laughs> uh, Let's take our left arm and our left knee out to 90 degrees off our left side body. Like this. Oh, oh like this. Take your right arm, thread it all the way underneath you, right arm and shoulder. Look over your left fingertips as they inhale, reach for the sky, and then just twist all the way back. Yeah. Oh, oh nice. Wow. Stay with that breath, everybody. Woo! Commend you for showing up to your mat. And, and we're not done here yet. We're going to get some shoulder stand in today. But uh, before you do go, please make sure you hit that like button. Share, subscribe if you haven't already. Take an inhale here. Exhale, just release. Come all the way back down. We're just going to switch sides there. Right arm, right knee 90. Left arm and shoulder threads underneath. Look over your right fingertips, take it up, open up. Breathe, everybody. Deep diaphragm breathing. Very, very alive here. Take an inhale here, everybody. And exhale, just roll on your back. Oh. Go ahead, roll on your back. Slide to your left, get back on your mat here. So for you at home and, and, and both of us uh, here, if you've got neck, back, or shoulder issues, if for, for any other reason you don't want to put pressure back here or take a shoulder stand, then come to a seated forward fold. Uh, but here, if we're doing this, take your legs, extend them high to the sky, and then toes will come towards the ground and back of your head. Uh -huh. So if your toes can touch the ground, great, awesome. If you just want to come to a seated forward fold, so you can do that. Legs in front of you. Bend your knees a bit there. If your toes touch the ground, great. If they don't, that's cool. But Lindsay's going to straighten her legs. Good. Y'all breathing, Lindsay? Mm -hmm. now, now, either here or hands to middle back to straighten your legs up for shoulder stand. Good. Now, bring your heels towards me and your hips towards that way. Where's your water bottle? There we go. Straighten up. Oh, saturating our blood we've been with oxygen over the last 48 minutes. And now all this is flowing easily to our brain. You doing all right? Yeah. Ooh, Salamba Sarvangasana. It's said that if you do this posture for a half an hour every day, you'll never get sick. Yeah. No, it's, it is said. Take an inhale here. And then if you're with me here, let's take Karnapidasana, bend your knees to your forehead, ears to the ground, the sides of your head. Now you can stay here with your hands on your back, or you can reach back and like grab your feet, pull your knees closer to your shoulders, or just bring your palms face down your side body. Okay, if you haven't already, everybody, hands down to the ground. We're going to slowly roll down vertebra by vertebra. When your hips touch, extend your legs high. And exhale, lower your heels nice and slow. And when your heels touch, you can lay on your back. Uh, press up to your forearms, lift your heart. Like her. And then just drop your head back. There we go. Gentle counter pose. Just like 
Press up, everybody. Chin to your chest, lay on your back. Uh, from here, let's take our right hand to the top of our right thigh, or left hand top of your left thigh, rather. And now you can bend your right knee. Let's bend our right knee and just kind of pull it in here. Let's start there. Now you can stay here, or you can start to grab your big toe with your middle and index finger and extend your right leg up. Now it might not get completely straight, but that's cool. Now keep that pressure, keep this pressure on your left thigh there and turn your left hip bone and then see if you can just gently drop your right open to your right. Right leg open to your right, there we go. And continue to breathe. Take our right leg back up to the sky. Now bend your left knee, slide your foot in towards you. Take your right ankle across your left knee, across your left thigh. Flex your foot here. Thread the needle around your left leg with your hands. And then lay back and pull it in for the supine pigeon or the supine figure four. Drop your head back. And breathe, everybody. Really good. From here, let's take this into a twist. So release your hands, but twist your right leg over your left. Drop your right arm open. Look right. And gently guide your knees left. Awesome, let's unwind, come back to center, pull both knees in, neutralize for a moment, and then we're just gonna switch it up. Take your right leg extended out in front of you, rest it on the ground, right hand to the top of your right thigh there, a little pressure. You can draw your left knee in, you can keep your knee bent, or grab your big toe with your middle and index, and extend it up. And then keep that little bit of pressure on your right thigh, and then just drop open to your left there. Stay with it, everybody. You've done phenomenal so far. I want you to get all the benefits you can possibly get out of this. Uh, Saturday and Sunday, we'll actually be streaming from my friend Janelle's house. That'll be 10 a.m. As always, Saturday and Sunday. Let's take our left leg back up, bend your right knee, slide your foot in towards you. Take your left ankle across your right knee, flex your foot, thread the needle around your right leg, lay back, pull it in sweetly, continue to breathe deeply.
right, one more breath here. Inhale. Exhale, all right, release that. Drop your left arm open to your left. Twist your left leg over your right a little bit more. Like eagle legs, if you're familiar. Look left, drop your knees right, and breathe. Come back to center, everybody. Unwind your legs, pull them back into your chest for one last time. Give a big squeeze. And then let it go. Let your legs fall out, toes fall open, and your palms be face up along your side body. You made it, y'all. Lay back. Close your eyes. Hallelujah. Take a nice big inhale here together through your nose. Through your mouth. Ah. Again, inhale. And clear it out. One more, inhale. Hold, pull. Release. Release. Release control of your breath. Let it become natural. Let everything soften. Everybody, I appreciate you so much for tuning in, for allowing me to guide you through. I hope, pray that you get value from this. That's my intention. So uh, I have a feeling you, you wouldn't be watching it if you didn't get at least some value from it. So thank you. Um, thank you for your donations, your generosity, everybody. If you need the Venmo, it's at Namaste Yoga on Venmo, at Namaste Yoga. And, and I appreciate you for honoring that system, everybody. Uh, the divine within me honors and bows to the divine within each and every one of you. Namaste. Again, I want to thank my good friend Sabrina, Lindsay here. I want to thank the Point, this conference center out on Mission Bay. Uh, for helping us out, everybody. We'll see y'all tomorrow. What are these crafty? <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs>